Hello, welcome to my second tutorial on beginning programming with Just Basic. Um, today I'm going to be talking about um, variables in programming and um, their uses and also how to get input from the user. So last time we used the print command to output text to the screen. Today I'm going to show you how you can use variables in a program. Variables are pretty much ubiquitous in programming, so it's important that you nail down this concept as soon as possible. So what a variable is useful for is when a value that represents something will be changing in some way, or if the user of your program will be defining it and you don't know what it'll be. So it's basically just a, a placeholder. Now there are two kinds of variables. There are number variables that can hold any number, integer or real, and string variables that can hold text and characters and pretty much anything you can type. So let me illustrate this concept. You can name your variable anything you want it to be. Um, so here I'll, I'll make a string variable first. So I'm going to call it my name. And to denote a string variable, you put the dollar sign at the end of it. That lets just basic know that it's a string variable. And then to assign it to something, you put the equal sign, and then in quotation marks, since this is a string variable, you put your text. And so then you can just say print the variable. And you don't need to put quotations around this because it it sees the dollar sign and it knows it's a string variable so it knows what to do with it and so then let's run it here ta-da let's let's say let's add this on to this my name is and I put a little space there so that it won't be crunched together and then you put the semicolon if you wanna put something on the same line as it ta-da my name is Daniel so now I'll show you how you can use number variables um, a number variable you don't need um, the dollar sign you can just name it whatever you want so then you just put let's call it X equals 1. So that's how you assign it to some number. Um, now here's something I have to explain to you. It's very important to realize that this is not an equation. Um, so what I mean by that, it's an assignment expression. And the variable has to be on the left side of the equals sign and the number has to be on the right side. You couldn't define a variable by saying 1 equals x. Um, also, you, in programming you can overwrite variables, which means, like say x equals 1, now I can add 1 to it by saying x equals x plus 1. Now that's taking the previous value of x, adding 1, and then making that the new value of x. And so this is not an equation because that's kind of like saying 0 equals 1, and that's not true. So that's important to realize. Um, so now I'll il illustrate this concept here um, by printing it to the screen so you can see what's happening. And you don't need quotes here either because it's a variable. So now you'll be able to see how x is changing. This is the old value of x then it adds 1 and now that's the new value of x. The last thing I'm going to show you how to do today is how to get input from the user. And that's really what programming is all about, allowing the user to input data and then manipulate that data in some way in the program and then output that manipulation back to the user and everyone's happy. So to get input from the user, you use the input command. 
and then a variable. So that makes whatever the user type on the screen after they press enter that gets put into that variable. Now I'll write a little program here. You need to print something to the screen so the user knows what to enter. Let's ask what their name is. So then you put input and then some variable. Let's call it the username. And then just write it back to them. Hello username. And then let's have this program do something else too. Um, I'll show you a little tip here. Um, if you want your program to pause, this is a quick and easy way to do that. Just have some random variable. Um, this isn't going to be anything. It's just so that the program will pause so that the person can read what you have so far and then press enter for it to move on to the next part of the program. So that's just a... I mean there, there are some other ways we'll be doing this later on but that's a quick and dirty way to do that. Um, so let's have this do something mathy. Enter a number to double, let's say. Input x. So print x when we double that it's gonna be x and that's the you, the star key is the multiplication um, operation operator and then we just print X to the screen my name is Daniel hello Daniel Enter a number to double. How about two? Two doubled is four. Ta-da! And so that's how you can use variables in your program. Thank you for watching this second tutorial, and stay tuned for further tutorials.